118 miles an hour. The cannon was birthed centuries ago, and its exact origins are shrouded in mystery. What is known is that gunpowder itself was developed in China as part of the Fire Lance. But no matter the country that birthed the cannon, what is certain is that for nearly a thousand years, it has been the original weapon of mass destruction. Whoever wielded the ability to hurl cannonballs through the air at their enemies were ensured a tactical advantage and a great spectacle to all who observed the assured victory. Today, the Cannonball is the latest X and Beast class frame developed by Catalyst Machine Works. John here guys, and today I'm here with Neil, the owner, designer, and creator of all of the awesome and amazing things that you've seen from Catalyst Machine Works over the years. And right now we have two of the latest things, the Cannonball Beast class and X class size frame. So we're gonna get some footage of these things flying in the field and talk about the details of what makes these two different. But one notable thing is that all of the power system components, the motors and the props are identical between these two sizes. This is two 4,000 milliamp hour 6S packs wired together for 12S sky scorching amounts of power in this thing, guys. So Ooh. let's check it out. This is Neil with Catalyst Machine Works and I'm here with Johnny5 FPV and we're talking about Beast Class. Okay, as some of you may know, I've been a big advocate of Beast Class and I want to talk to you about the reasons why and what the difference is. Okay, so X Class is a machine that by spec is 800 millimeters from prop to prop. Okay, if you want to race X Class, you've got to have a machine that's at least this size. I have to apologize, <laughs> we've got some guys doing some work over there, so I'm gonna have to scream it maybe loud in the background. Uh, Beast class is the same thing, but shorter arms, right? So this machine houses 13 inch props. You can see the location of the props in reference to each other. And then this one, of course, it doesn't have any props on it right now, but this is also designed for 13 inch props. Okay, so now you guys at race, your wheels are turning. So what I'm advocating is that the rules be changed to instead of defining the class by the size of the machine, we define it by the size of the props. All right, this is the same thing that we do with these guys. And I think it should be no different for this big machine. I believe that Beast Class with a 13 inch prop he is just as visible to a spectator as this guy right here. The advantage of this is the performance is worlds better. It just performs on a different level compared to this size. That sums up what Beast Class is. We're going to be sponsoring the Mega Tracks at the Multi GP International Open that's coming at the end of June. So there's going to be quite a few pilots out there flying these machines. Uh, we're actually co-sponsoring it with Advanced Power Drives, the guys who manufacture these ESCs. And this flight controller, um, if you're wanting to get into X-Class, currently there's really no place to go outside of this company. The way that this thing works is we've got two batteries. These are two 6S batteries, um, and we wire them in series. So what I do is connect these two plugs in like this and then these connect into the pigtail on the beast. So total it's a uh, nominal voltage is 50. So it's pretty serious. All right, so the important thing, really important with these death machines is um, to make sure that you don't kill yourself because this will this will kill you pretty easily. So what you have to do is take uh, real specific precautions when you're getting it up in the air. Um, so make sure that you never, you know, put power through this near anybody. All right. And when you're standing next to it and you put power through it, that it is facing away from you. Right. Also, you got to go a decent distance away from where you're going to be flying 
So when you arm the thing, you know, if something bad happens, it's not going to start bouncing around and come after you. this Cannonball Beast class goes. Um, the way we're going to do this is we've got this, whatever this is, this big metal sign uh, that John is going to be behind and I'm going to get nowhere close to him. I'll be going full speed but I'm going to make sure that I'm you know, out there in the sort of a, a, a decent distance so that he's safe. What's the retail on one of those? More than you can afford, pal. Ferrari. <laughs> Okay, we got 86. It's going away from us. So now. Hundred and eighteen miles an hour. Okay, here we go. Seventy five, seventy five, cruising speed. One hundred and twenty nine miles per hour. I could not believe how fast this X-Class, B-Class, whatever flavor you prefer, uh, flew. It is much faster than a five inch quad. That took me by surprise. I really thought that the whole purpose was simply to be able to see these things from a spectator stand. Uh, and then in my mind, they were actually gonna perform with less speed, less performance than our five inch quads. These are faster guys. The top speed at 129 miles an hour is probably still somewhat on the low side because of the angle I was running that speed gun for safety's sake. Um, it would have been better if I was straight head on with it. But uh, not just the top speed, but the cruising speed of these is really closer to about 90 miles per hour, whereas the cruising speed of a five inch is probably somewhere around 70, 75. Um, I was just blown away by the performance of these things. If you want to see these live and in person, APD and Catalyst Machine Works are co-sponsoring the Mega Team Track. 
there is, is going to be an awesome race where you can see all these things competing against each other. It is happening at the 2019 Multi-GP International Open Race, which is set to run from June 25th to June 30th. So get your tickets, get over there, and find out how you can see some of this action unfold. I'm unfortunately not going to be at that race, but I am very much looking forward to the footage to see this unfold. I know there's going to be pl plenty of top pilots flying these things. I believe Nurk is going to be there flying one of these cannonballs. Uh, that's going to be very exciting to see one of those top DRL pilots pilot one of these things. Super exciting. What do you guys think in the comments? Have you seen one of these in person? It is quite a sight to see. Thanks, guys.